Okay, so it's nine o'clock and um, we're going to do a, a meditation called the mindfulness of breathing that I'm sure is familiar to most of you. Uh, if, if you haven't done it before, I will lead us through it. Um, it's basically just following the breath in four different ways and uh, quite straightforward but very helpful it helps the mind settle uh, but before we do that i just wanted to uh, talk about something that's quite dear to my heart and that's being ourselves um, i've had quite a lot of experience in life where i've not been myself i've been what other people wanted me to be and i've kind of gone along with that uh, for um, for a lot of my life and uh, it's quite it's quite unsatisfactory and and painful and uh, and it's also not good for us so uh, one of the things about meditation is it helps us contact who we are it helps us see who we are because we might not even know that not fully anyway and if we can do that we can blossom and grow and become uh, our true selves uh, and I think that's a wonderful thing so I've got a poem by Mary Oliver that I really that seems to um, be evocative of that for me so I'm going to read that to begin with um, it's called the journey one day you finally knew what you had to do and began Though the voices around you kept shouting their bad advice. Though the whole house began to tremble and you felt the old tug at your ankles. Men my life, each voice cried. But you didn't stop. You knew what you had to do. Though the wind pried with its stiff fingers at the very foundations. Though their melancholy was terrible. It was already late enough and a wild night, and the road full of fallen branches and stones. But little by little, as you left their voices behind, the stars began to burn through the sheets of clouds, and there was a new voice which you slowly recognised as your own. It kept you company as you strode deeper and deeper into the world determined to do the only thing that you could do, determined to save the only life that you could save. And I think that's, I think that's beautiful um, because we sort of, um, it might not be individuals that force us into particular roles that we don't, that aren't us. It's, it's society generally and culture and um, it's good to resist that and to seek our own true being. And one of the ways of doing that is through meditation, letting the mind settle, letting the mind be at peace. And then things happen, things arise, and we see things that we don't see otherwise. So that's quite magical. Uh, so we're going to do the mindfulness of breathing. And... Uh, I just wanted to say that as background, really, to what meditation is about. And the more we meditate, uh, the more we do these kinds of practices, the more we become our true selves. Um, and it's quite magical. <laughs> OK, so we'll begin. And uh, just make sure you're comfortable. Uh, you can do this lying in on the bed, in the bed lying on the floor, sitting on a chair, whatever suits you. Maybe sitting on a meditation stool even like me. Just being comfortable. Um, and if you're sitting on a chair or a stool, just trying to have a reasonably straight back. Uh, shoulders level with your back and your head balancing nicely on the top of the spine, chin tucked in slightly, mouth slightly open, 
facial muscles relax, let the any tightness in the face relax. Any creases in the forehead, just letting them drop out. Just feeling the weight of your body being held by the chair or the bed and just giving it up. Letting what you're lying or sitting on just take over. <clears throat> Noticing the shoulders rising and falling, rising with each in breath, falling with each out breath. <clears throat> and as you breathe out each time and the shoulders drop, you can imagine all the tightness and tension in your body and achiness, sluggishness, just dropping away down through your body into the earth and then the next time you breathe out and your shoulders fall relaxing a bit more and a bit more just letting go this next 25 30 minutes is yours Don't have to be anything, do anything, be anybody in particular. Just being who you are, deep down. And bringing your attention to the chest area and the upper body. Noticing how it lifts and fills with air, breath as you breathe in. As the lungs expand, lifting and pushing the rib cage out. And then the whole thing going into reverse as you breathe out. Just noticing that for a little while. You might notice the sensations of the breath actually entering the lungs. <clears throat> you might not be able to feel it, but just notice if you can. So this is the mindfulness of breathing. 
And we begin by following the whole of each out breath, right from the beginning, right to the end. Just following the out breath, noticing what it's like each time. And if we wish, right at the end, adding a number, starting with one, then two on the next out breath, then three, and so on up to 10. And when we get to 10, beginning again from one. And when we get distracted, probably we won't get to 10. We may not get past one or two. We just notice that we've been distracted and we just accept that with kindness. We try not to get irritated about it, try not to get caught up with that. Just noticing when we get distracted doesn't matter. And coming back to the breath, the out breath and counting at the very end. Not worrying when thoughts arise and you get distracted. This is just what the mind does. And the whole practice is about just noticing that and coming back to what we're doing. In this case, following each out breath from the beginning to the end. not getting too caught up with the counting it's simply there to help us doesn't matter if we don't get past one or two what matters is that we keep coming back each time we're distracted
So we can just stop counting for a moment <clears throat> and just notice how we are, take stock of ourselves, adjust our posture if we need to so that we're still comfortable. And when we're ready, begin counting again, but this time just before each in-breath. And again, following the whole of the in-breath from the beginning right to the end. And uh, so counting one at the beginning of each in-breath, and then two, and again, so on up to ten, and then beginning again. Or if we get distracted, just coming back to the in-breath and placing the number again right at the very beginning. Not getting concerned if you're distracted by thoughts. Just noticing. And actually, the moment you notice you've been distracted by a thought is a very precious moment. It's a moment of peace and silence. Um, the moment when you understand that you've been distracted. You're not thinking anymore but you are aware. It's a moment of beautiful, pure awareness. So really valuing the moment when you notice that you've been distracted. It's very precious. And it's what we're trying to um, encounter, to develop in meditation. Counting before each in-breath and noticing the in-breath from beginning to end.
in the third stage we're going to stop counting and just bring our attention to the sensations of the breathing in the body in the upper body particularly just noticing noticing the chest expanding and contracting as we breathe in and breathe out the lungs filling up the rib cage being pushed out and then everything going into reverse noticing the sensations of the breath in the lungs and the rhythm of the breath And as much as you can, just getting lost or absorbed in these feelings of the breathing in the chest. If you get distracted just coming back with a sense of kindness and patience to the sensations of the breathing in the body And if you wish, you can explore the sensations in the whole of the body. Sensations of the breath in the legs, in the arms, uh, 
in the head, in the belly and the abdomen. It's very subtle, but you can feel the breath in all these places if you really look closely. If you can't feel the breath in these areas, then that's okay. But just being open to having that experience and seeing what happens. In the fourth and final stage, we're going to bring our attention up to uh, the area where we breathe in. So this could be the nostrils or the upper lip. So we're going to just focus on the very delicate sensations that occur in the nostrils or the upper lip as the breath passes in and leaves the body. Just noticing as much as you can, focusing as closely as you can. Not trying too hard, just relaxing, but really homing in on the place where they breath is entering your body. And you can be curious about what the sensations are like. Uh, is the texture of the breath, what's it like? Is it silky smooth or a bit rough? It doesn't matter, it can be anything. But just noticing that. And does the temperature of the breath change 
between entering and leaving the body. And also you might notice the length of each breath. Um, if you've really settled, it's probably longer and shallower than it was at the beginning. So as we near the end of the meditation, just letting go of all effort. Just sitting, noticing, observing your experience, and being completely open to it, not trying to push anything away or grasp onto anything. Just sitting with things just as they are. And I'm going to end with another poem. Well, it's a song, actually. Um, Paul, who's meditating with us this morning, has sent it. Uh, and I think it's really good. Uh, so I'd like to share it with you, um, with his permission. Um, it's called Just Be. Like the calm between two waves. Still nights after busy days. Not quite light, not quite shade. Terrified, but also brave. You'll find it where the seas meet the skies. With every step you take in that moment, you're alive. Let your senses set you free. Just stop, breathe, just be. Like the silence between two keys. Waking up when you fall in a dream. Have no faith.
Okay, so thank you, Paul. That was lovely. Um, and Paul's put a link on it. So as I say, it's actually a song and he's put a link on to, so you can hear the song. I'll certainly be having a listen um, this morning. Um, so thank you all for coming. Um, it's been great to be with you again and to do all this together. It's so lovely. Um, uh, if you would like, if you appreciate these meditations, both during the week and Saturday mornings, either or, uh, then it would be lovely if you feel up to giving us a donation. Uh, York Buddhist Group doesn't have any income. We rely for our survival on the people that come to our classes and do these online present, these online meditations. So if you feel like giving a, a small donation, um, whatever you can afford, that would be lovely. Uh, there's a link on um, the text with this video, or you can go to our website, yorkbuddhistgroup.com, uh, and there's a page entitled uh, Supporters. So if it, you don't have to, but if you feel like you would like to do that, we would be really appreciated of it. I would really appreciate it. So, um, yes, I'll, I'll leave you with that thought. And uh, I'll be back again on Monday at uh, 11, uh, well, at 8 o'clock, because Kate's actually away. She usually does the 8 o'clock slot. So I'll be here at 8, and I'll be here again at 11 for the morning cuppa meditation. So maybe see you then, uh, or, or not. But anyway, have a great weekend. Have a lovely day today. And stay safe and take care of yourselves. And lots of love to you all.